few of us have the time to spend several days sitting in court and we might not really understand what was going on just by sitting there. So we rely on news media, on newspapers, on journalists to tell us what's going on. And if they have an agenda of their own, if they're trying to push an agenda like Brexit or being against Brexit, uh, then there's a risk that they may deliberately or perhaps even accidentally report what the judges say in a way that's not entirely accurate. And that's damaging because what else have people got to go on? If you start saying that the judges are politically motivated, that they take their decisions on a case involving Brexit because of their views on whether the UK should have left the EU or not. That's very damaging because judges are there to apply the law. They take an oath to do so. And we saw this in 2016 when the Daily Mail headlined its front page, Enemies of the People. This was the uh, way they headlined the news story, which said that Parliament needed to get involved. Legislation was required before the government could trigger Brexit. And I've chosen that as the title of my book. It has a question mark, Enemies of the People, because I ask the question in the book, are they the enemies of the people? And between you and me, no, I don't think they are. But it's very damaging to public confidence if people think that the judges are pushing a political agenda of their own. And it was damaging to the individual judges they were concerned. They called in the police. They were worried about their personal safety. You and I may think, well, it's only a newspaper, today's news, tomorrow's fish and chips. But the judges treat this sort of thing quite seriously. They're quite concerned about it. And that's why it's important that the public gets a good idea, an accurate idea, a fair idea of what the judges do. Broadcasting of the courts helps. That's available in the Supreme Court. Wasn't available first time round in these crucial cases. The more people understand what goes on in court, and I hope my book, and of the People, may help them to understand it, then the more respect I think there will be for the judges, and the better, in my view, that is for society.